Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful morning or afternoon or night, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I'm gonna share you with you some new products that I've been loving and share with you some stocking stuffers that you might wanna get your family and friends this holiday season. So if you're excited about that, just keep on watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to mention a few things that I'm using before I start. So this is the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express. I put this on this morning and let's see, I let it sit for about four hours just to make sure that it's on good. And then I washed it off in the shower and I used my tanning mitt. This is just from, actually this is Isle of Paradox tanning mitt, but I usually get the Ulta ones but I was duped into buying Isle of Paradise. Don't buy the tanner. <sighs> it's, it's worth what you pay for it. Let me just say that. I hated it. And it wasn't just me. There were lots of people that had tried it and used it. Like sometimes social influencers are really great, like beauty influencers, uh, telling you great products to try, but sometimes it's like, really? You really like that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they Anyways. Okay, so I've been using a new product. Um, one of my friends, Jamie, from Beautifully Bold Radiant, sells mascara products. It's actually called Saint Beauty now. And um, she says she loved it, and I was very skeptical about it, but I do like it when I have time to use it. When I don't have time to use it, I just stick with my... Um, I don't even know where it is. It's the uh, CC cream from It Cosmetics. But when I do have time to use this, I will. Now, usually when I'm in a rush, I got hair all over me. With, usually when I'm in a rush, I will just put some CC cream on my fingers and rub it in and then rub it on my face. Throw some bronzer from Hula. I don't have it. It must be my purse. Hula bronzer on um, my forehead and my cheekbones and. Uh, right here on my eyes, and then that's it. I, and then I walk out the door. It takes me like literally two minutes to do that, but this takes probably about seven or ten minutes, depending on how fast or slow I am. But it's a great product. I really love it. I really love the blushers. I find it very nice. Even when I when I'm done with this, I don't know if I will buy it, uh, the foundations again, but I do want some more of the blushers, and I want the brushes. Uh, the brushes are supposed to be really, really nice. Um, some people that don't like the foundation will actually just buy the brushes and the lip products, lip and cheek products. I love the lip and cheek products. Um, I will say, I mean, I, I like this makeup. It takes some time to get used to it, and, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. I mean, I do like it. Do I like it better than the CC cream? Probably not because it takes longer for me to put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have two shades of the foundation and I'm gonna put the darker shade on because I have a fake tan on. And when I don't have a fake tan on, I use the lighter shade. So I start out under my eyes and then I work my, my way down. I have found that a little goes a long way. If you feel like it's too heavy, you've used too much, and just go in with a wet sponge and dab it out, and you should be fine. But literally, every mascara or Saint Beauty seller will tell you a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. It's pretty self-explanatory. I have the foundation, I have the bronzer, contour, and then I have the blush. So I'm gonna use all three products. Now let's talk about something else. <laughs> I don't like talking about beauty products because I don't sell this stuff. Um, I will leave Jamie's information in the description box below, but like I don't know enough about the products to actually do a full, like this is what you're supposed to do. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. But anyways, my daughter is screaming so hard right now. She is being a typical three-year-old right now, and she's just throwing a tantrum. She was in here earlier, she wanted me to braid her hair, and she wanted to put on makeup, and then she started crying because I wouldn't let her use um, my Laura Mercier 
translucent powder because it's dang expensive and I don't want her to use it. And anyway, she's crying about that. And then I braided her hair. And then she was crying about that. So I don't know. She, I just put her in her room so she could cry. I don't know what she's crying about. So if you hear her, I apologize. Anyways, I hope your holidays went nice. I had a great Thanksgiving. We didn't have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. We just had steak and potatoes and green beans. I know that's not traditional, but we didn't have anybody here. Um, my brother and his wife had their baby, and I'm an aunt again. He has a 20-year-old and just had another baby. <laughs> So they're gonna be really far apart, but my nephew is really excited to be an uncle. And yeah, not an uncle. He's not the brother. <laughs> he's gonna be more like an uncle, I guess, but he's gonna be a, a big brother. So, anyways, um, we're gonna go down there for think or Christmas and hopefully see the baby. She had to stay in ICU for a little while, the NICU because she had a lung infection from having a bowel movement in the in utero. So um, that was a bummer, but she is trucking through and she should be released soon. Now, um, we're going down there for Christmas, but uh, everybody's staying safe, of course. Um, there won't be more than 10 people. <laughs> all that stuff. It's so frustrating guys and I hope you guys get to see your family for it, at least a little bit even if it's just yeah, FaceTime. Do people use Sk Skype anymore? I guess they use Zoom instead but I hope you guys are staying safe. Our church just closed again. Um, we actually didn't go back because there was limited seating and I didn't want to take up five spaces um, when we could just have it here and stream it here in our home instead of, because you know when you take kids into the big church, it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating because you can't really pay attention because you're worried about your kids and then you're worried about um, your kids like acting up and like, you know making a scene or just distracting people. That's what I was trying to get at. Just distracting people. So, um, we just haven't gone back yet, but then they closed it again because we have a lot of elderly people in our church. And I think, I don't know, I think that was probably the smart move to make, even though, you know, we need church. Oh gosh, we need to go back to church. Okay. If you would have told me last year, this time last year, we wouldn't be in church, I would have said you're crazy. But anyways, um, I'm gonna hurry up because she's still crying. So, have you guys been watching any Hallmark movies? I've watched a few. We watched this this family one. I watched it with the kids, and I, I kid you not, I cried a few times. And I'm not like a huge crier in movies, but I cried in this one. The little girl's mom had cancer, and Oh my gosh, it was just a cry fest. <laughs> it really was. Um, but anyways, it was really good and I can't remember the, the name of it. I'll try to look it up and, and put it on the screen for you. But it was really good to watch with your kids. I mean, it's not like, it's not your typical Hallmark movie. And I don't even think it was a tip, a, an actual Hallmark movie. It was really, really good. Oh, I forgot the brush, or the blush. Um, so that was really good. And I watched another one. It was about these two sisters that were saving their dad's bakery. I don't know if you guys have watched that. I think it was on Prime Video instead of Hallmark. But I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Um, but it was pretty good, I think. And let's see, anything else? Oh, I want to watch a Candace um, Cameron Bure movie so bad. I'll get there. I'll get there. Here comes my daughter. So I might, I might have to go. Do you hear her? 
You guys have toddlers that do this that cry for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Anyways, okay, so my outfit of the day, let me show you real quick. I have on just like this white cardigan. I'm not going anywhere. And, or at least not out in public. I'm going to the gym later today. And by the way, we have to wear our masks at the gym now. I'm so frustrated with that, but whatever. If it keeps them open, I'll do whatever it takes. Um, but anyways, I have on this cardigan and I have on this black tank top and when I go to the gym I'll actually like, put on some workout leggings on but I also have on like these Christmas pajamas I'm going to show you in the full length here hold on hold on let me set my face first but yeah this Christmas season has been crazy um I think I got all my shopping done even like stocking stuffers and everything um, I have everything ordered. No, I take that back. I have like a few more things I gotta order. But, um, oh, I don't have my, I don't have my brown stuff. Here she comes. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, one more thing before I go. I have another product that I want to tell you. That it could be a really great stocking stuffer. Um, I got this from my healthcare provider. So my healthcare provider is very um, um, holistic, and she gave me this to try out. And it's like a lip scrub. It's mocha. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a sugar scrub. And. You guys know I need <laughs> all the scrubbing I can get when it comes to my lips because they are so dang dry. And it doesn't help that I pick at them and they like scab over. I'm one of those people. Oh, it tastes so good. It's almost like a chocolate mocha. Anyways, and then they make their own chapstick and my daughter peeled off the label, but this is the orange and they have other flavors too. They also have a roller ball for headaches. And I haven't tried that yet. Thankfully, I don't get many headaches. Um, so yeah, these are really great. Um, I think these together are $8.99 and then if you want to buy them separately, they're $5 each. But they're all natural. They are scented with essential oils. There's nothing in here that's ever going to be bad for your skin or harm you. So um, basically, yeah, just like three or four ingredients in each one. Amazing. They're going to start making um, like a shea butter or body butter thing. So they're going to tell me when that's out. I'm going to try it because I have very sensitive skin and I know I've said that in the past like I have to use the only things I can use are CeraVe I love their products I can't use Cetaphil I've used that before and it felt like it was spreading my skin um, I've tried all the natural ones that I could find at the store like Pacifica, Jason, um, Say Yes to Carrots that whole brand and just anything all natural that I could find I've tried it just does not work very great my skin I don't know maybe I'm allergic to something that it has in that but uh, so what I use is CeraVe and I love it I've been using it for a long time now and I use Dove soap as a cleanser but I, I can also use L'Occitane and I have it down here I love the almond scent so that's actually the only scent that I like. So I have that um, lotion and I have the oil. Oh, I love the oil. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And I also have the shower oil. So this is the um, supple skin oil. So after the shower, you put that on 
and in the shower you can use the um the shower oil so i love that but i need to show you one more stocking stuffer that you guys might like all right these earrings are made from one of my girlfriends she makes these earrings she has four kids and i don't know how she has the time to do this but she does um they're just beautiful earrings and she changes out the leathers all the time so um, she might not have these exact ones anymore, but she does have similar ones. Um, let me show you my favorite. I love these. Oh my gosh. And I really, really like these too. Um, I like the red one. I really like all of them. Where are the ones that I wanted to show you though? Oh, they're not in there. I need to fix this earring. There we go. There it goes there. Um, I can't find where they're at. They're, they're probably, I wonder if they're in my pocket. Okay, so they were in my pocket. I wore them the other day to get my hair done, my eyelashes done, and I had to take them off so they wouldn't get color on them. Focus. Okay, so these are uh, buffalo plaid and they have a little blessed uh, symbol in the middle. I love these. I bought some of these for gifts for Christmas, like um, stocking stuffers and stuff. So I really, really like these. Oh, love them. So if you want these earrings, let me know. I will actually, I will put them. This door is haunted. <laughs> it always drifts open. But I will leave a link to these to get these. Um, you just message June from Creations of Faith on Instagram. I think she has an Etsy account. Maybe I'll link that if she does. Um, but I think the easiest way to order these would probably, I don't know what it would be easiest, but I would actually look on her Instagram account first to see what she has and message her to see what she has before you order anything. Because she does run out of stock because she, she, um, she sells a lot. She's doing great. She, um, yeah, she's doing really good. So let me show you my outfit for sure. Okay, here we go. Full length mirror. I have on my Christmas leggings. These are actually from Walmart, if you can believe that. I have two of them. And these are the red ones. I have the black ones as well, but they have a different pattern. The only thing I don't like is that sometimes the reindeer ends up upside down. Like that drives me crazy. And the Christmas tree, but they are butter soft. They are so soft. Um, I think they're like $5 a pack. Love them. Um, my Christmas slippers are from Target. I will leave a link to these as well. So all in all, I think it looks pretty cute. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. So I don't really have to dress up very much. I wouldn't wear this out, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my, my earrings. And I just like to get dressed and ready for the day, even if I'm not going anywhere because it just helps me be more productive. So this is what I'm gonna wear today. Um, I need to clean my floors. There's stuff all over my floors. So it's just excuse that. I'm gonna go ahead and get started for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would love, love, love that. It really helps support my channel. Share it with your friends, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. And I will see you next time. Bye.